Hi students, in this video we are going to study about Lenz formula. You know what is Lenz formula, isn't it? It is 1 by f is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by, v, 1 by u. And we are going to derive this equation in this video. Now before going to Lenz formula, let us see which are the sign conventions used for a spherical lenses. Now imagine you have a lens of optic center, optical center O and an object is placed in front of the lens and an image is formed on the other side. Now the first sign convention which we use is all distance are measured from the optic center. center. The second assumption is the distance measured in the direction of light is taken to be positive while the distance measured in direction opposite to that of the light is taken as negative. So, distance measured in direction of light is positive and distance measured in opposite direction of light direction of light is taken as negative. Now height of the object which is upward, height of the object which is upward and perpendicular to principal axis is positive while the height of the object taken downward perpendicular to principal axis is taken as negative. So third point is height of the object upwards and perpendicular to principal axis is positive while height of the object downwards and perpendicular to principal axis is taken as negative. So, these are the sign conventions used while we are deriving the equations for lens. Now, let us see what are the rules used for drawing the images for a convex lens, concave lens also you will get the similar ray diagrams. First one, when a ray passes parallel to the principal axis, so we have a convex lens and if a ray is passing parallel to the principal axis then after refraction what happens? After refraction it passes through the principal focus of the lens. So any ray which is passing through to the lens parallel to the principal axis after refraction gets the, the, the ray passes through the principal focus of the lens. Now the second one, a ray which is passing to the lens through the principal focus ray enters the lens through focus point through principal focus this is the lens 
optic center the ray which enters the lens through principal focus after refraction what happens it passes parallel to the principal axis so any ray which enters the lens through principal focus after refraction travels parallel to the principal axis and the third point the ray which passes passing through the center of curvature sorry through the optic center the optical center now if a ray enters through the optical center then what happens after refraction also without deviation in its path it will continue in the same path so the ray which enters the lens through optical center after refraction remains undeviated in its path now the assumptions which we used for deriving the lens makers formula the same assumptions we use while we are deriving the lens formula the lens formula is the formula which relates image distance image distance to the object distance and focal length that is 1 by v minus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f we are going to derive this equation for that we are using the four assumptions that we used for the, uh, deriving the equation of lens makers formula which is all objects are said to be all objects are considered to be point objects second one the rays are paraxial which means parallel rays close to the principal axis making small angles with the principal axis the third one the aperture of the lens is very small and also we are taking a lens a very thin lens for deriving the equation okay so imagine you have a convex lens so this is a convex lens okay and an object is placed in front of the convex lens beyond the focus so a b is our object now two rays we are taking two rays for deriving this equation the ray which is parallel to the principal axis which means at point m on the first refracting surface of the lens and after refraction it passes to the focus similarly the second ray which is passing through the optical center the deviation in path and these two rays meet at the point a dash so a dash b dash is our final image now u is object distance object distance means distance taken from the object to the optical center v is the image distance distance from the optical center to the object final image and f small letter f is the focal length from taken from the optical center to the focus of the lens okay now so u is the object distance v is the image distance f is the focal length this diagram ab is the object and a dash b dash is the image final image form final real image okay now for deriving this equation it's very simple we consider two sets of similar triangles and using those two sets of similar triangles we formulate the equation now the first set of similar triangle which we consider is triangle a o b and triangle a dash b dash so this set so we are considering the triangle a b o and triangle a dash b dash o and these two triangles are similar so from the figure 
triangle A B O and similar to triangle A dash B dash O. So formula is so you can write B dash A dash by B A or A B is equal to B dash O divided by B O. So B dash A dash divided by B A is equal to B dash O divided by B O. So first equation. Okay. Now the next set of triangle, similar triangle which we are going to take is triangle M O F and triangle A dash B dash F. So triangle triangle M O F is similar to the triangle A dash B dash F. So again formulating the equation we get A dash B dash divided by M O is equal to B dash F divided by O F. This is equation 2. Okay. Now, if you look in this figure, you can it is clear that M O and A B are equal, they are parallel and they are equal. So, instead of M O, what we can write? We can write A B. So, from the figure, M O is equal to A B. So, the above equation becomes A dash B dash divided by A B is equal to B dash F divided by O F. This is equation 3. So, right hand side of equation, sorry, left hand side of equation 1 and 2 are same. So, comparing equation 1 and 3, we get equation 1 and 3. We get B dash O divided by B O is equal to B dash F divided by O F. Now, our aim is to formulate an equation using U, V and F. Now, if you look at this diagram, we can say B dash O is the image distance. B O is the object distance. But what is B F? We don't know what is B F. So, what we have to do? We have to convert B F into the known term. So, from the figure, from the figure, we can write B F is equal to, this is B F, is equal to what? B O minus sorry, B O minus O F. So, B F is equal to B O minus O F. Also, B dash O dash is what? V. B O is what? Is the object distance I is taken in the direction opposite the direction of light. So, it is minus U and O F is the focal length. So, our equation becomes, so we look B dash F, what we are going to write, we are going to write B dash F is equal to B dash O minus F O divided by O F or F O. Now, substituting the value of B dash O, B O and F O, I will get Substituting the values of B dash O, B O and F O, we get B by minus U is equal to V minus F by F or V F is equal to minus U V plus U F. Now, dividing the equation throughout with U, V and F. Dividing the above equation using U, V and F and on rearranging we get 1 by F is equal to 1 by V minus 
one by u. The lens formula. Okay. So what was the step we used? We considered two set of similar triangles. Then we made certain approximation and we got the equation as 1 by f is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u. Thank you.